Pokemon my purple banditos and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon up Rodri. Last time we met our way through Diglett's tunnel and we arrived here in Coney Coney City. Today we're gonna make our way inside of Olivia's shop and say what's up, Probo Pass? Pokemon's holding a letter. We take the letter and read it. Olivia here, this is Probo Pass. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the Ruins of Life, past Memorial Hill when you can. You got something else for us, Probo Pass? What is it, buddy? Medicine? Awesome, we got ourselves a max potion. Thank you. You know what, Probo Pass? I have to tell you, you've been a really great, great caretaker here. You know, you really did your job here. We're gonna let Olivia know that. Let's make our way out. I've seen much meaner people in Pokemon centers if you're catching my drift. It seems like Olivia's got a nice Pokemon in there that knows how to treat people right. We're gonna make our way, oh, back out towards Route 9, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and make our way back towards Diglett's Tunnel. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all of your tips and your comments. Make sure you go ahead and click that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Also, make sure you click the bell and turn on all notifications on my channel. This is the way towards Memorial Hill, so let's continue on. We've made it to Memorial Hill, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look around this place. I'm pumped. I'm ready. I've also trained up our Pokemon a little bit, Mizu specifically, up to level 25. So we'll be able to use Mizu a lot more now, which is going to be great here, since we're probably going to have a bunch of battles coming up. Let's look around here then and see what we can find. I think we're going to have our first battle right up ahead. Hey, we got a cleanse tag. That's pretty good too. Let's continue on then, guys and see what other trainers we can find here. With that, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. What? Lola is evolving, and there we go. Our Baneri is going to evolve, and I'm super pumped for it. I've been waiting for all of our Pokemon to evolve, and every time one does, it's just another great addition to our team. So let's go ahead and check it out. Congratulations, our Lola evolved into Lopunny. So with that, guys, we now have a Lopunny on our team. And that also gives us the possibility of having a Mega Lopunny. There we go. Baneri evolved into Lopunny. It's been registered in our Pokedex. And it's going to be very, very cool to have another fully evolved Pokemon on our team. Our team is growing quite well. And looks like we're getting pretty strong, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ourselves the Rabbit Pokemon. It is a normal type. And it might be changing types a little bit if it ever goes Mega. So with that, guys, we're going to be able to continue on with a much stronger Pokemon. We're learning Return as well. I gotta tell you guys, Return is a pretty good move. That could definitely help us out a little bit. But you know what? We're gonna go ahead and get rid of Baton Pass. I really haven't been using it much. I don't think there's much use for it. So let's go ahead and teach our Low Punny Return. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a pretty good move on our Low Punny as well. And let's continue through here in Memorial Hill. I hope you guys are having a good Monday as well. I've been having a really good week in general. I'm here in El Salvador visiting my family. I've been having a really great time. We've been seeing a lot of really cool sights, taking trips here and there, eating delicious food. I'm enjoying my winter break, and I hope you guys are as well. For those of you that are on winter break, let's use the repel then. Let me go ahead and run around a little bit too. We're going to make sure we find everything that we can here in Memorial Hill. And I'm going to put Lola up in front 
So we can try it out a little bit. I think it'll be cool to get our low punny out. As you can see, our attack is going to be really, really high. So we're going to go to pack some punches. And that's what I like. I am probably more of a physical attacker than a special attacker, I would say. I like to use physical attack Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up Lola then. Because I really want to try out this low punny. It's going to be an absolute blast. Who would have thought our little Lola is growing up, guys? Got ourselves a Dusk Ball. I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe there's a little TM hidden around here. You never know where a little TM is going to be. He's going to find one here and there. Maybe there's one hidden behind one of these places. You never know, guys. I'm actually glad that we're getting the chance to battle all these trainers, too. Because all the XP is much needed. That battle was a little bit tougher than I expected, but at least our low punny came through for us there. What are we going to run into here today then, guys? And this is going to be our next poke. I'm just messing with you guys. It's a Zubat. So there we go. We just ran into a Zubat. I feel like every time I'm running through patches of grass or caves, who knows? It could be like surfing down a waterfall. I always run into a Zubat for some reason. They always chase me around everywhere. Zubat's just like me. I guess I just have a... Very charming personality for the Zubats. They just love flying around and messing with me. I'm really hoping we got a heal coming up soon here somewhere. Hopefully we run into someone that's going to heal us up. Because our Pokemon have been taking some serious damage. We got ourselves the spell tag though. That's pretty good. Peach Cole, get back that Pokemon! Don't give me trouble. I reduce you to rubble. That's right. We're going to sell this Pokemon and get rich and we won't make no bones about it. If you want it back, you're going to have to take it. Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. That's what you say, Chief, but you don't lift a finger. Why, I'm the Aether Foundation's last line of defense. What would become of the Foundation if something were to happen to me now? Oh, here's a promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and rout these Team Skull Rufians. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. You ready? Because I was born ready, yo. trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer. I am deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly outstanding. Once you have finished your grand trial, come to Hano Grand Resort and I will take you to see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. I'm so glad there are nice young trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenge. Thanks, guys. See you later. So we just ran into some cool people. Nice to see them. We made it to the Akala outskirts now. What are we going to be able to find around here? We got a guy fishing. Ooh, and we got ourselves a TM. We got TM28 Leech Life. I knew there was going to be a TM around this place. There's always a TM hiding somewhere. Thanks for the battle, Mr. Fisherman continue up this hell we got another battle it's 
spot grew to level 30. Our Pokemon are getting very, very strong. Don't know if I want to drop down that way. So let's just go ahead, make our way towards the back. So you're the one Gladion was talking about. Hmm, you don't look like anything special to me. I'm Blumeria. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all these numbskulls. You have realized what idiots all these guys are, right? But don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Plumeria. It is time to take on Team Skull Plumeria. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're challenged by Team Skull Admin Plumeria. She's got two Pokemon ready to go, and she seems a little bit angry that we've been beating up her grunts. We probably have been beating them up a little bit too hard, but what can I say? Our team is really good, Plumeria. And we are going into this battle with our Pokemon weakened down. I was spot up in front at level 30, though, so you guys know I'm going to go for the Rock Tomb, and that is it. The Golbat is down. Good to see you, Golbat, you know. One of uh, my favorite Poison-type Pokemon, definitely. A Salandit's going to be coming out. This is going to be a whole lot of fun then, guys, because you know what it means. It's time to get Mizu out here. I know you guys have been waiting to see our little Vaporeon out and about. We're level 26 now on Mizu as well, so it's cool that our Pokemon are gaining a good bit of levels. It's better to train your Pokemon and balance them out and then use the XP share so they can stay at that level together. Helps you out a whole lot. We can take out this Flame Burst, no worries. The great thing, too, about having a Vaporeon on our team is... We got ourselves a Waterium Z, ladies and gentlemen. So with that, it is time for us to use our Z Crystal. Mizu surrounds itself with its Z power. It unleashed its full force Z move, Hydro Vortex. Yeah, I don't think that guy's gonna come back from that. That Salandit is down. Mizu grew to level 27, so we are getting quite strong now. We defeated Team Cole, Admin Plumeria! Really? We received 3,240 for winning! Hmm, you're pretty strong, I'll give you that! Don't mess with anyone, Team Skull, again! I'll show you how serious I can get! See you later, Plumeria! So with that, guys, let's make our way inside. And we have finally made it to the Ruins of Life. Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find a way to the Taitsung Hotel on her own. She says she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. Now I've got to go. The Mask Royale has a match, and there's no way that I'm missing it. That Mask Royale. What do you think he looks like under that mask anyway? I came here for Nabby, though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here, with the professor's help. Oh, look at poor Lycanroc. Let me heal it for you, won't you? Please do. Heal up all of our Pokemon, Lily. Within these ruins waits the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. You, I know you tried to drag me along through ruins of conflict on Mele Mele Island, too. Why are these ruins so important to you? What do the gardens mean to you? Just think, what would have happened if you hadn't been there back then? Oh! Haven't I seen you with Kukui? Yes, my name's Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant. And this is Rodri. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Top of Lily summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Rodri, thanks for getting to know the people in Pokemon of Alola. Alright then, you've completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. I'd love to. Great, we're going to give you guys everything we got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Here we go guys, Rodri versus... 
Island Kahuna Olivia. It is time to battle the Kahuna of Akala Island. Olivia's got her three Pokemon ready to go. She's gonna open up with an Anorith, and we are going to open up with Lola. So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and see what our low punny can do. Lola just evolved here, and we are ready to throw Lola into the actions. You can see Lola is level 28. We're going up against a level 27 Anorith, so we should be pretty good here to do some major damage to this Pokemon. There we go. We already got it down a half. I'm going to go for one more jump kick then and see if we can take this Pokemon out. Now, lucky for us, this should be a pretty good battle for us since we do have Mizu ready. We have Lola. That's going to be doing a ton of damage. And then we have all of our other Pokemon as well. So I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Our team has really been shaping up. Thank you guys so much for all the comments and all the suggestions that you guys have left me. We're going up against a Lilip. So let's go ahead and see what we can do against this Pokemon. It's only level 27. Lola should be able to pack a couple punches. We should be doing a little bit of damage to it. And that is going to do a good bit. If we can just hang in through this and get Lola to output as much damage as possible, I think we will have this battle in the bag. We're going up against a bunch of rock types here. And I'm feeling pretty good here. I'm feeling pretty good in this grand trial. Let's go ahead and go for the kick one more time. It did not take down the Lilip. And it took us down. That's okay. That's okay. Lola is down. Great job to Lola. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch out to Hades. Let's go ahead and bring Hades out here and see what our boy can do. I feel like Hades is always ready for some action. And Hades hasn't had the chance to do too much today. So, let's go. Oh, boy. Here we go. Olivia's got herself a couple super potions. So, it looks like this battle might not be over just yet. Now, good thing for us, we do have double kick. So, make sure you guys use some fighting type moves. Some water type moves. Use what you gotta use against Olivia. Because it can be pretty tough if you don't have the right Pokemon for it. Let's tank out this ancient power then. Don't do that much to us. Don't do that much. Wow, that was a crit. I was wondering how the heck that level 27 Pokemon just did all that damage. But it is okay. Lilip is down then, ladies and gentlemen. And we are good to continue on then. Lycanroc is going to be it. That is the third and final Pokemon of Olivia. So let's go ahead and switch out to Mizu then. And it is showtime to show Olivia what our little water type can do. This is what I'm talking about. You know, you gotta show them what's up with these grand trials. And you guys already know what I am going for, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go for the Z-Power. Lycanroc went for the bite. We flinched. We actually flinched. Okay, okay. I see you, Olivia. I see you putting up a bit of a fight. Let's hope we don't flinch this time. We got it. Mizu surrounded herself with its Z-Power. It unleashed its full Z-Move. Hydro Vortex. And there we have it, guys. That Lycan Rock is out. We gained a bunch of XP, and we defeated Isla Kahuna Olivia. How lovely. We received 4,480 for winning. Diamonds only sparkle after Cole's push to its absolute limit. You guys are the best. Here, the Rock Time Z Crystal. The Rock Z is all yours. We just got ourselves another Z Crystal, and that's Grand Trial complete! We obtained a Rockium Z! The Rock Type Z power you have to move like this to draw it out! Watch carefully because the hit moment is crucial! Sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but... Why even come to the Ruins of Life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because you're Nebby. It's not originally from here, and I want to help it get back to its home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. 
seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I will find some clue to help it. You certainly don't see Pokemon like that every day! Top of Lily may be called the Garden Deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the Guardians at all costs. Unless they're strong enough to face the top with themselves, that is. Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Hey, you're going to live, I'm now from Mickey Town. You gotta let me battle you. Oh, hey, Rodri. Guess what? This weird green guy from Aether told me to come to Hano Grand Resort once I finished up with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Oh, the Aether Foundation. I'm not sure what he wants with you, Rodri, but why not go find out? If you want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. There's the Aether Foundation. Uh, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how Hal's battle goes, too. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt. But I know that both of you Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you two. Maybe I can't show all the dark tricks and the rest of my team's strengths like my Gramps. But I'm still gonna do the best that I can do. You're just you, right? Everyone is. And what's wrong with that? Why should it matter who your family is? I want to see what it is you kids can do. So, show me your own full power! How he's going to continue on to his grand trial, and he's also got an invite from the Aether Foundation people. So with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the next area, which is actually going to be near Royal Avenue. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. We defeated our second grand trial. We're doing great. We're moving through the game. So make sure you guys let me know what's coming up. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Bandito Stay. Also, click the bell and turn on those notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Alola!